Hello everybody, my name is Stratnos and welcome to This Week in Mythic Plus. This week's affixes are tyrannical, bolstering, volcanic, and of course, uh, shrouded. Thundering, not shrouded. Shrouded was, uh, that was last season's affix. Thundering is this season's affix, regrettably. Uh, so, what do the affixes mean this week? Uh, since it's the first season of the expansion, I've been doing a little more of a kind of beginner or returning player catch up on how the affixes work and how they've changed since Legion when they were. Uh, largely introduced. Bolstering is kind of the the more impactful, much more impactful of the two between Bolstering and Volcanic uh, that are active this week. Bolstering is whenever a non-boss enemy dies, other non-boss enemies that are nearby get a stack of Bolstering and gain extra health and damage. Now, since Legion, this has been nerfed a lot, uh, and it now has a duration, so after a little bit of time, that stack will fall off. Uh, extra stacks, don't like refresh the duration of the oldest stacks as well, I don't think. Uh, so it's like Iron Furs type thing where uh, the oldest one will fall off uh, even whenever it was supposed to. And uh, bosses are completely isolated from the bolstering affix. So bosses don't trigger bolstering when they die. Boss adds don't trigger bolstering when they die. Bosses and boss adds don't get affected by bolstering, which means that in dungeons where it's safe to do so, pulling trash onto bosses is actually really good uh, on bolstering weeks in general. Although, of course, the tyrannical affix uh, making bosses stronger can make that pretty dangerous depending on which boss it is. But some of the easier bosses can be a really good idea uh, to take some trash onto them because bolstering kind of interferes with a lot of double pulls that you might be interested in on a regular tyrannical week, right? On a regular tyrannical week, you're thinking, okay, we need to kill some more trash quickly to speed up the dungeon because we're losing time against these bosses uh, and yet if you do any aggressive double pulls uh, then you run the risk of a lot of bolstering stacks landing on something and that thing killing you. The other thing that bolstering makes dangerous is mobs with disproportionate health totals. So for instance if you look at this first pull uh, in this knockered route uh, we've got some enemies here with 6 million health, some enemies here with 13 million health. I guess this is on a 35. Let's put this on a 20. Let's put this key on a 20. Some mobs here with 1.4 million health, and some mobs here with 3 million health, and then you've got the uh, Plane Stomper at 6.5 million health. Now, how Bullstring will often go on a pull like this is this Plane Stomper is going to have several stacks of Bullstring for a while at the end of the pull. That's not the end of the world, because the Plane Stomper doesn't do AoE damage, right? As long as you kick the Disruptive Shout, it's just going to be beat up your tank for a while, uh, and so it's actually usually fine to just put 5 stacks of Bullstring on this thing and not worry too much about it. It is a little bit slower to do that unless you can then chain pull it in and just kind of ignore it while it while those bolstering stacks expire. Uh, so what you can instead try and do is prioritize damage, right? Uh, so when there's a mob that has twice as much health as the other mobs in the pack, try and do twice as much damage to it as the other mobs in the pack. Whether or not that strategy is going to be available to you is going to depend on what specs are in your group, right? Whether you have specs that are able to efficiently do that without losing too much overall damage. Uh, other affix this week is, is Volcanic. Volcanic is not a huge deal in most dungeons. There's a, uh, it's like annoying for casters. It spawns volcanoes under you. The way that volcanic works is that whenever an enemy is in combat, that enemy will try and spawn volcanics from time to time under you if you are at range from that enemy. But if you're actually in melee range, if, if there's an enemy mob that is in melee range of all the players in the party, then they can't spawn any volcanoes. So... Uh, if your whole group is melee and you're all stacked up tightly under a pull, uh, you're not going to get any volcanic spawning. But as soon as somebody walks like five yards away, they're going to get three volcanoes uh, attacking them. Which, again, not a big deal. You have a long time before they actually explode. Uh, but it is worth knowing that's how that affix actually functions. Uh, and you will get... That does mean you can have volcanic spawning in melee if there is an enemy that is out of melee range there. So whenever, for instance, you're doing these pulls in not good, uh, you will get volcanics in melee if the longbows are out and casting because you're at range of that longbow, and so it will spawn volcanoes under you in melee. But in a traditional pull of all melee enemies, right, if you have the tank and the melee DPS in melee range of all the enemies, there won't be any volcanoes spawning in melee, and they will only attack your ranged players. Uh, okay. So in terms of dungeon difficulty this week, yeah, most of it lands on the tyrannical affix. And then as the key level starts getting higher, as you're starting to kind of push the key level, you're going to find the timer is a problem. Uh, and the reason the timer is a problem is that bolstering and, and tyrannical combine to slow down the trash and slow down the bosses uh, in a way that 
it is just going to be a problem for you that's going to require some creative creative solutions. Uh, again, trash onto bosses when possible. Finding the double pulls and the triple pulls that still work even with bolstering active is a good way to, to handle that. But if you're not at a key level where the timer is a problem, just pull slow. Just pull, pull slow through the dungeon. You're going to minimize the impact of bolstering. And if the timer's not a problem, then you don't have to worry about any other downsides of that. You just do that. Pull through the dungeon. Don't wipe. The affixes here don't increase the chances of wiping in the way that many of the other ones do, right? An affix like bursting or Explosive can just make a regular pull much more lethal. Uh, but Bolstering doesn't really do that in a, a regular one pack of, of enemies thing. I mean, it can in some of them, but it's pretty rare. Uh, and Volcanic also, I mean, obviously it can, it can, it can get you, but uh, it's one of the easier affixes to play around. So uh, this week is actually pretty good for that sort of situation for... You know, if you're if you're trying to get your 2400, get your Valor upgrades, uh, this is a good week to be able to just kind of slowly and steadily win the race. Okay, uh, now I think, yeah, oh my goodness, there's a enemy that's just spawned. I, I guess I'm going to be too late for that. Damn, it was the 30 minutes. Like, I nearly I nearly caught one of the 30 minute rares by accident, but... Oh, my choice to film in, uh, in Azure Span for the beautiful scenery has cost me a chance at a bottled essence. You hate to see that. Anyways... Hope that everybody has uh, has got some good keys brewing this week. Uh, I think it's it is a fairly good tyrannical week for almost all cases. Uh, at the very high push week level, uh, then the the bolstering affix does really start to get ugly. But uh, for most cases, this week should be it should be a pretty good one, uh, and it should feel a lot less oppressive for healers, especially than stuff like quaking week and explosive bursting week. <laughs> Bursting Grievous week, right? There, there's some weeks on this calendar, and this is this is not too bad of them. Of them, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope that helped. See you in the next one. Bye.